good morning if you're just joining us. I welcome you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let's begin our service. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O oh Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, blessed be God forever. And a song of penitence. Words from Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with your gracious Spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And our psalm this morning is Psalm 38. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. That's our refrain this morning. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Rebuke me not, O Lord, in your anger, neither chasten me in your heavy displeasure. For your arrows have stuck fast in me, and your hand presses hard upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no peace in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head. Their weight is a burden too heavy to bear. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. My wounds stink and fester because of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and brought very low. I go about mourning all the day long. My loins are filled with searing pain. 
There is no health in my flesh. I am feeble and utterly crushed. I roar aloud because of the disquiet in my heart. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O Lord, you know all my desires, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is pounding, my strength has failed me. The light of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and companions stand apart from my affliction. My neighbours stand afar off. Those who seek after my life lay snares for me. And those who would harm me whisper evil and mutter slander all the day long. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. But I am like one who is deaf and hears not, like one that is dumb who does not open his mouth. I have become like one who does not hear, and from whose mouth comes no retort. For in you, Lord, have I put my trust, you will answer me, O Lord my God. For I said, let them not triumph over me, those who exult over me when my foot slips. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Truly I am on the verge of falling, and my pain is ever with me. I will confess my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. Those who are my enemies without any cause are mighty, and those who hate me wrongfully are many in number. Those who repay evil for good are against me, because the good is what I seek. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading this morning is from the Old Testament, from the prophet Daniel, chapter 9. And today we have verses from 3 to 6 and 17 to 19. Then I turned to the Lord God to seek an answer by prayer and supplication, with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. I prayed to the Lord my God and made my confession, saying, Ah, Lord, great and awesome God, keeping covenant and steadfast love with those who love you and keep your commandments. We have sinned and done wrong, acted wickedly and rebelled turning aside from your commandments and ordinances. We have not listened to your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our ancestors, and to all the people of the land. Now therefore, O our God, listen to the prayer of your servant, and to his supplication, and for your own sake, Lord. Let your face shine upon the des your, your desolated sanctuary. Incline your ear, O oh my God, and hear. Open your eyes, 
and look at our desolation and the city that bears your name. We do not present our supplication before you on the ground of our righteousness, but on the ground of your great mercies. O oh Lord, hear. O oh Lord, forgive. O oh Lord, listen and act, and do not delay. For your own sake, O oh my God, because your city and your people bear your name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our canticle is the Song of Manasseh and the refrain at the very beginning and the end is full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God most high. You are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O oh God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O oh God, I have sinned and I acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me according to your great mercy. For all the host of heaven sings your praise and your glory is forever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. New Testament reading this morning is from 1 Timothy 6 verses 6 to 19. Of course there is great gain in godliness combined with contentment for we brought nothing into the world so that we can take nothing out of it but if we have food and clothing we will be content with these. But those who want to be rich fall into temptation and are trapped by many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil and in their eagerness to be rich have wandered away from the faith 
and to pierce themselves with many pins. But as for you, man of God, shun all of this. Pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, gentleness. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called and for which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. In the presence of God who gives life to all things and of Christ Jesus who in his testimony before Pontius Pilate made the good confession. I charge you to keep the commandment without spot or blame until the manifestation of our Lord Jesus Christ which he will bring about at the right time he who is the blessed and only sovereign the King of Kings and Lord of Lords it is he alone who has immortality and dwells in unapproachable light whom no one has ever seen or can see to him be honour and eternal dominion Amen As for those who in the present age are rich command them not to be haughty or to set their hopes on the uncertainty of riches but rather on God who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. They are to do good, to be rich in good works, generous and ready to share, thus storing up for themselves the treasure of a good foundation for the future, so that they may take hold of the life that really is life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our response to scripture this morning. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. And the words of the Benedictus. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. That's our refrain at the very beginning and the end. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. 
free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. now for our prayers. Thank you for your prayer request, Jackie. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Loving God, as we make way for Lent and a change in pace, And a refining of our focus, our turning back to you, Lord. May we also be gentle to ourselves. So many people are just very fragile at the moment. May they find rest in you. May they discover peace in the wilderness moments. May they find security in the knowledge that you will provide. And may those with resources share them. May we draw close to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for your church around the world. And all who will seek repentance. Across all the traditions, some in person and others at a distance. May the power of your Holy Spirit bridge any gaps, connect any isolation, so that our journeys can begin today. As they have in the years gone by, that 
perhaps we may enter into this season as individuals and as communities of prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray this morning for those places around the world where peace feels far away, where violence or oppression or war feels the norm. For people who feel as if they are sitting in darkness, May your light be revealed, Lord. And may peace be being worked out and rescue swift. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Praying today, Lord, for our healthcare workers who are working across our emergency services and our key workers. Praying for our schools our teachers and head teachers, support staff, hopefully resting this week. And for our homeschoolers and parents and carers, praying that they too will have space to relax. Praying also, Lord, for anyone suffering with their mental health this morning. As so many people feel they, ca they can't seek help or that help is not there. Praying that they will ask, that they will find the courage to pick up the phone. and ask for help. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we pray for anyone this morning who is suffering in mind, body or spirit, we lift to you all who care for them including those who care for family members at home. And this morning in this parish, we pray for John Ellison, Jessica McCaskill, Carrie Waggett, Betty Connor, Doreen Moig, Andrew Garvick, Mrs Hewitt, Sid Harrison, Pat Middleton, Dorothy Macbeth, Stella Matthews, Michael Hughes, Chris Haynes, Tom Mackenzie, Julie, Josh, Pat Henshaw, John Pike, Anne Taylor, Rod Taylor, Carol Woodfield, Christine, Beatrice Yorston, Win Alderslid, Marion, Judith and Jen, Grant and Sheena, Gillian, Karen Hill, Reverend Stuart Hill, John Young, 
Minnie Johansson, Mavis, Harriet Fraser, Grant Macbeth, Susan Fisher, Ruth Vance, James Shepherd, Marjorie Carruthers, Brian Henderson, Brenda Prophet, and in a moment of silence we lift to you, Lord, those people on our hearts and minds today. May they know your healing presence in their lives, your comfort and your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of all mercy, we pray for those who are more seriously ill today. and all caring for them in hospital in hospices or at home we pray for anyone for whom today may be their last day in this place And we ask that you welcome them home with open arms and hold and comfort those who grieve. Praying this morning for the soul of Margaret Errington and for her family and friends. We entrust her into your care, Lord, as we do for all those we love, but no longer see. Let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. And our collect for today, for Ash Wednesday. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you the God of all mercy perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion 
and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thank you for joining us today. We hope you find it a useful space. We hope you can join us again tomorrow at 8 o'clock or join us later today for our service for Ash Wednesday. Thank you.